Welcome back, my awesome third graders. Today, we are going to be painting our loom for our weaving project. Whoop, whoop. To get started, using a pencil on the back of your paper, you're gonna write your name and your class code, and then flip it over and draw three hills on the bottom part of your paper. Next, we're gonna start painting the sky of our plate here. And I'm gonna put down some white paint and then I'm gonna mix my own blue. Guys, we're mixing colors. I'm gonna use some white and some blue and mix it together and make a light blue. Wow, what do you know? And I'm gonna apply that to my sky on my plate. You can make different values by mixing different colors together. You could have a dark colored sky or a night sky or anything like that. Make sure you go all the way around the edges with your blue and you can even add some different values on top once you have that first layer on there. Or you can just keep it that one shade of blue if you like. I kind of like a blended sky, so I'm adding different values of blue, like dark blue and light blue all along it, um, just to give it some variety. Next, you're gonna rinse your brush off completely so that there's nothing on it, and you're gonna go back into the white, and you're going to add some clouds into your sky if you want to, using little dabbing motions. Finally, we are going to start adding some green shades to our bottom portion of our plate, our loom that we're creating. And we're gonna have a foreground, middle ground, and background, so the three hills. The hill in the middle, is going to be the lightest value of green. The hill on one side is gonna be a little bit darker in value, which means color, a little bit darker in color. And you can achieve a darker green by adding in a little bit of blue. And then one hill in the foreground, which is gonna look that it's closest to us, is going to be the, a very dark green. And you can make a green darker in value by either adding black or you can add some dark blue to create a darker value. When you're done, your little paper plate is going to go dry on the drying rack. 